Hi, today I'm going to share with you how I wrap my soaps and how I package up my shipments. I'm doing a voiceover today because I was just watching TV and having a good time in the shop and I was recording, but I thought maybe, hmm, you guys might want to know a little bit more about what I'm doing. So I want to include a little bit of context to what you're seeing. So what you're seeing here below is my soap wrapping tool, which we do make. Um, we make them custom for uh, our customers to the size of your cured soap bars. And each one is hand done. We are not uh, like woods craftsmen. You know, we're like just regular husband and wife team. And we make these for folks because they're very helpful for me. And I thought they might be helpful for you. So what you see me doing here is I have my, um, it's just like a shipping paper wrap, uh, really thin, you know, inexpensive paper that you'll get from any shipping store. And I have them cut down to the perfect size to wrap my soap bars. And um, so I have a little stack of sheets of paper and I'll take my bar and my bar, these are my little simple bars, you know, my daily use bars, nothing special. They're special to me because I made them, but <laughs> uh, these I don't, you know, I'm not concerned about shrink wrapping. There's no melt and pour. Uh, there's not amazing like details I'm trying to show off. So I figured why not just go with a, a, an expensive paper so that people can easily unwrap them and use them on a daily basis. Uh, so you see me here applying a label and on my label, I've included, of course, the ingredients, um, the directions on how to store them, keep them in a nice, dry and cool place. And of course, um, you know, where they're made. So as you can see, I'm trying to fit my paper. So I'll do that for each one to make sure that the bar of soap is in the center of the paper. And then we just simply place it into the soap wrapping tool. And I'm built, bending down the sides first and bring it to a little point and slide the slider over that so that it keeps it in place while I um, fold the other corner. So I really like this feature because it frees up my hands to be able to get some nice, crisp, clean folds. So as you can see, I like to make sure my folds are very clean. And then that allows me to bend the bottom portion down and I use a little piece of double-sided sticky tape to then um, do my final fold and lock it into place. Then I'm ready to pop it out and begin the next one. So I've actually sped up the rest of these. I, I still want you to see the process because this is, this is literally how I do it, you know? I want you to see, you can take your whole loaf of soap, you know, get everything prepped. I prepped my papers first. Um, I prepped my sticky tapes. I prepped my labels. And um, I'm gonna do all the paper wrapping first because I just feel like once you're in the flow of getting your um, wrapping going, it's like why I stop in the middle to do your stickers. So I just go ahead and wrap all of them first. And um, the soap wrapping tool helps make sure that I have a nice consistent look for each one of my folds. It's also very helpful for if I have someone else join in and help me package soap, uh, my soaps because um, everybody has their own unique way of folding and I kind of want to make sure that no matter, you know, who's wrapping the soaps that they all look consistent, especially for like our wholesale orders. You know, we want to make sure that when they're on our customers shelves or, you know, your uh, boutique or your at one of your shows that um, that the soaps look really nice and they look uh, uniform. So this really helps to make sure that uh, if you have helpers, everybody's folding looks exactly the same. Um, so what's even cool is I'll even take my soap wrapping tool out with me um, to shows and, you know, I'll have it there and people really get a kick out of seeing me use this little tool. Um, so that way you can have them naked, you know, naked soaps out there for people to see and um, they can uh, just have them wrapped after they've picked out their bars and, uh, and take them with them before they take them with them. Um, so that's really nice. It's also great to use paper, getting away from your plastics. I try to use as little plastic as possible, but you know, sometimes you still have to use it. It is forgivable too, because uh, you know, as we all know with handmade soaps, you have a little texture on the top and it gives me a little wiggle room so I can have 
you know, a slight texture on the top and it will still wrap it just fine. So I finished up all my wrapping and now I'm gonna go ahead and place my stickers. So I use um, Adobe Illustrator to design my labels. And Adobe Illustrator is a professional grade graphic design program. But you could also use uh, any other sim more simple to use programs like Canva, Canva's awesome. And you can design your labels and then I bring that design into Cricut as a print and cut uh, image. So when you bring it into the Cricut software as a print and cut image, it will, you can send it to the printer first. And I just use the inkjet um, Hewlett Packard printer. And then it will, as you can see in the background, place like a black border around um, the artwork that allows the Cricut to know where to start cutting. So then you place your print onto the Cricut mat and it will cut it out. So uh, I've done all that already. And um, so now I'm just putting on my stickers. And so this is Ocean Breeze, California Ocean Breeze, because we're in Southern California. And um, as you can see, I do like a, oh yeah, a color theme, I guess, you know, to go with the design of the bar soap. And, you know, we include the fragrance name, our branding, the weight, of course, um, where it's made, uh, the ingredients and all of that. So that's really good for uh, our customers. And, um, you know, that way they can know what's in it, especially if anybody has any sensitivities to anything. So it's always good to list that out. Uh, we also highlight some of the um, awesome ingredients. So here, this one's got coconut oil and kaolin clay in it and the clay is just fabulous it gives it a nice slip uh, to the soap so this is my tried and true recipe here and um so we make these you know all the time these are really really great sellers for us so uh, i like that so we finished up packaging all of our soaps here and i just want to see want you to see how you know they look uniform together beautiful easy to open and um, ready to go into the shipping box. So next I wanted to show you um, the difference. So I did include in this order, there is a uh, raspberry vanilla, one of our frosted soaps. And the frosted soaps have like a lot of details. So this label here is gonna go into the corner. So as you can see, the Cricut is cutting it out like I told you before. And um, it just follows the edge and gives you a nice clean kiss cut around your label. This is a large label, so I can really only get two to a page. But, you know, I have the ink subscription with HP, which is super affordable. I can print like hundreds and maybe even thousands of prints in a month for like 20 bucks. So um, you can't beat that. And um, so then it's all printed it's all cut out and as you can see i'm just placing this label into the corner and that allows me to show the detail of the swirls of the layers all the fun stuff that we put into our soaps like i don't want to cover that up with the uh full paper covering and also my um embeds at the top are melting pour so i did want to shrink wrap that so that there's no air getting to it therefore causing my melting pour to like sweat you know that's like the worst so it's shrink wrapped first and then we put on our corner labels and um so i think they're really cute like it really shows off the 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 detail of the frosting you know highlights that and it's got some fun color to play off of the design in the actual soap so i do kind of pick colors for my stickers for my labels that um, really correspond to the design of the bar soap so um, I'm a designer um, by heart so everything I do I'm thinking of colors I'm thinking of design I'm thinking about how it's all gonna look when it's all put together because that to me is also the fun part I really do enjoy this process um, so now that we have everything packaged up individually we're going to put together the shipping box and this um, special delivery box I did pick up from Staples. Um, typically I'll ship uh, my wholesale orders in the flat rate boxes because I get better rates on those, but this is a smaller shipment and um, you know, just a cute little box will be you know sufficient for this. And, and it was also local, it was in state, so the shipping wasn't very expensive. 
Um, so I'm placing my bar soaps in and we, after we put a little bit of tissue paper and they're, you know, six weeks, four to six weeks cured is what we typically like to shoot for, for our bar soap. So they're hard as a rock. Like, so I'm just going to stack them together, making sure they're nice and tight. Uh, so they don't move around too much in the box. Um, and you know, I try to pick a box that will fit the, uh, order as tight and as close as possible and now we're just using a little bit of um packing shred just paper packing paper packing shred that i got from papermart.com papermart.com is local for me they're in also in southern california in orange and so the shipping comes super fast and their their forces their uh, prices are very affordable so i'm placing in my frosted soaps and I like how, as you can see, I put the branding on all sides of the, the label um, so that no matter how they go in the box, you know, when they open up, they get to see it's from Tires Essentials, your goodies, your bath and body treats from Tires Essentials. And um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in our loofah soaps and I didn't show off the process for the labeling on that one, but it's also done the same way with the Cricut. I do all of my labels with the Cricut and I do all my designing with Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so we've put in our loofah soaps and now I'm just packing in any of the, you know, like empty areas, loose areas, loose fitting areas with a little bit of the, uh, the packaging grass, paper grass. This is the ivory color and um, just you know, a little bit on the sides, a little bit on the top, and try to like spread it out and make it look pretty. Uh, and so now we're just going to um, kind of finish this off. So I took one of my business cards and I put a little bit of uh, double-sided sticky tape on the back of that business card. So then they open it up, they know who it's from, and they e they can easily contact us again if they would like some more uh, to order more of our Bath and Body products. My stickers are also done with Cricut, so you can see that border, and it follows the circles. And I fit as many circles as I can on that sheet and print them myself in the shop. And I'm just taking one of them here, and I'm going to uh, finish off the uh, tissue paper with one of those, kind of holding it together. So now we're ready to put in the uh, packing slip. And a little thank you card letting people know we appreciate them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Includes a little coupon code for if they want to order again. And I believe we are done. We are ready to seal this baby off and get it sent out to our customers who will hopefully open it up and feel super special and excited about the products that we have put inside. Again, this box comes from Staples, if you like it. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else, so let me know if you've found any boxes similar to this. The tape is also from Staples. It's called Happy Happy Mail, Happy Mail, I think. Um, and I thought that was really cute because it uh, really corresponds to that. So I might look for a box printer or tape um, printer and find something very cute, maybe more affordable. Um, to put a little branding onto my packaging, I wanted to uh, use the brown colors and put my logo on the outside. So I just made a bigger sticker with my Cricut and um, put that on the outside of the box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. If you would like to try our Tires Essentials products, please visit www.tiresessentials.com and you can also find us on Etsy. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.